the story of copper's connection with air conditioners. Let's start with the beginning of air conditioners. Back in 1902, a temperature problem in a publishing house in Brooklyn, New York, triggered the invention of a spray type temperature and humidity control system by Willis Carrier. In 1914, the first residential air conditioner was installed in a private mansion of Minneapolis millionaire Charles Gates by Carrier. It was a massive unit. 1930 saw the invention of the room air conditioner in the USA. Over the following decade, these compact, box-shaped units began making their way into wealthy homes in cities across the country. Twenty years later, in 1954, the first generation of commercial ACs were introduced to the Indian market by Carrier Corporation. With its inherent properties of high thermal conductivity, formability, corrosion resistance, ease of joining, infinite recyclability, copper had been in use in heat exchangers since the late 1700s. During the 1960s to 2000s, AC manufacturers in their quest for more efficient condensers started innovating with copper tubes in heat exchangers. Small diameter and inner groove tubes were introduced. By the early 2000s, 9.52 mm and 7 mm diameter inner groove copper tubes became the norm. The year 2006-2007 was a milestone year in the Indian room air conditioner market. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency BEE, introduced its landmark star labeling program. This was done to introduce energy-efficient ACs in the market and educate customers about potential energy savings. By 2010, the star labeling became mandatory for all room ACs. OEMs were now faced with the challenge of producing energy-efficient room ACs and optimizing the cost of manufacturing. As a result, AC manufacturers started looking for alternatives to overcome this dual challenge. This led to the introduction of aluminium microchannel condensers, also known as PFC, and aluminium alloy condenser in the room AC segment. 2010 to 2014, aluminium microchannel emerged as an economical and energy efficient option. It was rapidly adopted by the OEMs and, by 2014, its market share rose to 45%. At the same time, the market share of copper tube in heat exchangers went down to 55% from the 100% which it enjoyed earlier. 2014 to 2016 the rapid gain in market share of aluminium alloy condensers came with a higher number of complaints from consumers and technicians, such as corrosion and leakage issues. Aluminium alloy condensers turned out to be more vulnerable to breakdowns and were also very difficult to repair, leading to frequent replacements. 2016 to 2018 with retailers and consumers losing faith in aluminium alloy condensers, the focus shifted again to ACs with the 100% copper. A widespread awareness campaign was undertaken to highlight the benefit of 100% copper ACs so that consumers could make an informed choice. On the technology side, OEMs started optimizing their ACs with 5mm small diameter micro groove copper tube heat exchangers as they are economical, eco friendly, compact, and energy efficient. Driven in part by greater consumer awareness and demand, OEMs soon shifted back to copper condensers. Several OEMs also started adopting 5mm small diameter copper tube heat exchangers. 
With OEMs shifting back to copper condensers, 100% copper stickers became the industry norm. By 2018, copper tubes condensers started gaining market share once again, as they were easy to maintain, corrosion-resistant, energy-efficient, reliable, and durable. Also, by 2018, the aluminum condensers market is limited to cheaper room AC models meant for smaller markets such as deer-free cities and rural areas. By the end of 2019, the market share of copper tubes condensers in the room AC segment grew to 80%. Copper, the choice of the informed user. And the AC engineer's metal of choice.